hello students in the last class we have explained the decomposition of price effect into income effect and substitution effect in case of inferior goods now we are going to explain the same process decomposition of price effect into income effect and substitution effect in case of a given good we know that given goods are special type of inferior goods whose income effect is negative and this negative income effect is greater than positive substitution effect therefore the price effect also will be negative the for given goods are the goods whose price effect is negative because of the higher intensity of negative income effect than positive substitution effect we have already explained that price effect is a combination of income effect and substitution effect that is price effect is equal to income effect plus substitution effect suppose if income effect is negative that is negative value suppose uh, 10 and substitution effect is it substitution effect always will be positive and substitution effect here is for example positive 7 and if we add these two values we will get a negative price effect that is negative 3 therefore price effect is equal to income effect and substitution effect and if negative income effect is stronger than positive substitution effect price effect will be negative in such a situation when price of a commodity is decreased quantity demanded also will be decreased that is when price decreases quantity demanded also decreases normally when price decreases quantity demanded will increase but here in case of given goods when price decreases quantity demanded will decrease here the law of demand does not operate now let us analyze the splitting up of price effect of a given good by using a diagram in the diagram we have x axis and y axis on x axis we have uh, represented product x and on y axis we have shown product y initially we are having an income price line ab and consumer is consuming a particular point on this ab line consumer is consuming a particular point where indifference curve is tangent to income price line that is the equilibrium point price of product x decreases uh, consumer is able to consume more of product x the and the income price line will be ab1 and in such a situation consumer will be shifting his consumption point from ab to ab1 that can be analyzed later now we are going to do the process of compensating variation that means we are taking going to take away some amount of money from the consumer and for this purpose we have taken a a2 amount of money from the consumer and the new income price line is a2 b2 and suppose if consumer is consuming at the initial stage a when income price line was ab is at this point and consumer is consuming oem units of the commodity this is the initial consumption of the consumer in case of product x consumer is consuming oem unit of x when there is no change in income or no change in price that means at the initial stage then when price of the commodity is decreased and after compensating variation in income new income price line is a2 b2 and consumer is consuming a point here and consuming om1 of the commodity this is shown as the substitution effect because we have eliminated income effect and the remaining effect is substitution effect and therefore movement from m to m1 om to om1 m m1 is the substitution effect we have already said that we need to keep the consumer on the same level of satisfaction and for the same we have drawn a single indifference curve which is tangent to both the points like this this is indifference curve 1 and it, this is tangent to indifferent income price line ab 
at point A and it is tangent to A to B to at point B. Therefore, moment from A to B, AB is the uh, substitution effect. Now, we are going to give, giving back the amount of money that we have uh, taken away from the consumer. That means we are returning the amount of money. We are returning the compensating variation. Here, the consumer's income will be shifted to AB1. That is the income price line after decreasing the price of the commodity. And here the consumption point is identified on IC2 where IC2 is tangent to income price line AB1 at point C. Now we have got three points, points A, point B and point C. Point A represents the initial consumption point. Point C is the final consumption point after decreasing the price of the commodity. And point B represents the consumer equilibrium after compensating variation in income. Therefore, moment from A to B is substitution effect. Moment from A to C is price effect. And moment from B to C is income effect. Now we are going to draw different lines corresponding to that. We have uh, OEM two level of consumption. Initial consumption was OEM. Now the final consumption is M2, OEM2. That means consumption has been decreased from OEM to OEM2. That is M, M2 level is decreased. This uh, decrease is happening as a result of this negative price effect this therefore price consumption curve is backward bending by joining points a and c we can derive price consumption curve this price consumption curve is backward bending this is shown by a decrease in quantity of the commodity from om to om2 that is m m2 is the price effect price effect is equal to m m2 that is negative it is a backward moment. Now we know that there is substitution effect. Substitution effect is equal to M M1. That is after compensating variation in income we have moved from equilibrium point A to B. And moment along the indifference curve IC1 is the uh, substitution effect. This is positive. And now we are going to identify the income effect. Income effect is equal to the moment from B to C that is m1 m2 this m1 m2 is very large quantity which is negative and it is higher than positive substitution effect m m1 this is negative ie income effect is negative and stronger than positive substitution effect m m1 that's why we are having a backward bending income consumption curve a steeply backward bending income consumption curve this is icc this is a red line uh, the yellow line is showing PCC price consumption curve. Here price consumption curve is backward bending because of the stronger effect of this backward bending income consumption curve. Or we can say that negative if negative income effect is stronger than positive substitution effect, price effect will be negative. This is the case of the splitting up of price effect into income effect and substitution effect in case of a given good. A given good is a special type of inferior good because here income effect is negative, income consumption curve is backward bending and the negative income effect is stronger than positive substitution effect. That's why price effect also will be negative and given goods are those goods whose price effect is negative. In the next video, we will be explaining Slutsky method of decomposing price effect into income effect and substitution effect. Thank you.